hi guys welcome back to my channel a shopaholics treasure where i thrift for no reason no <laughs> i thrift to sell online but i also thrift because i'm addicted to thrifting I, i'll admit i sat down and thought about it and i officially have a problem i absolutely love thrifting like it's such good deals like how can you just say no to good deals I just can't do it. So anyway, on to this haul. <laughs> and by the way, if you see anything that you like, you can hit me up on IG at ashopaholicstreasure.com.com at <laughs> ashopaholicstreasure and um, let me know, you know, in the DM and I can send you an invoice through PayPal and ship you the item for, um, you know, however much it costs and plus shipping because ain't nobody doing no free shipping around here. Shoot, maybe when I start making more money, y'all can get some free shipping, but not right now. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started. So this thing this is a mixture of stuff for me and stuff that I'm going to sell. OK, so here we have Altered State, which is a good brand. Um, I found some dresses. Actually, I'm going to keep one. I don't think I showed you guys that. I really got to get better with um, doing hauls like all the time. Would you guys be interested in watching me thrift, like going to the thrift store with me? I want to get a camera and stick it like right here <laughs> and like go to the thrift store. I don't know. Let me know down below, please. So Altered State. Can you see that? Altered State. These are just some little jeans. Oh, it's my underarm shape. They're a little stubbly, but we ain't going to worry about that. So anyway. <laughs> These are some stretchy um, jeans or whatever. If I could fit these, I would probably keep them. That's my problem, I'm having trouble. Like, I wanna keep everything I find. This is horrible. You're supposed to be selling this to make money, Nina. These are size 28 slash seven. They're really cute. Oh, let's see here. This dress is the limited. I only got it because it's new with tags. It's petite small. Regular price $99, like for real, I would never. Look, it even still got the tag on the zipper. I never, girlfriend. But it's cute though, right? Cute. It's so like, is it? Is this a twofer? Oh no, it's not. I thought it was like you could flip it inside out and wear it, but it's not. <laughs> Here's a big mama's bra. I wish I had some boobies like this, but child, I can't even fit both of my boobies in here to get in one cup girl but these are um brand new with tags uh 42.50 is the original price 48d so if any of y'all out there with some 48ds although it is um there is a uh this right here which i'm not sure if it'll come out in the washer or not but if not girl you got a brand new bra for the low low because without 25 even if this is 25 dollars or 45 42 dollars that's a steal you know what I'm saying? Here's another bra. New with tag. I think this is even bigger. Ooh, child. I like it. This is... Girl. <laughs> this is $38.50, but the size is 50D. That's weird. I think this would be... This would cost more. I wonder if my mama wear that size. Some good bras. Maybe I should call my mama. Mama, what size bra you wear? I'm like, girl, get out of my business. You know, older people don't play that. I mean, she only like 60 something. But you know, they don't play to know their business like these hot girls out here. Us younger girls, we don't give a dang. Um, I found this shirt, polo size medium. I got it from my soon to be stepson, but um, he is taller than me. He's 14, he's taller than me. And I should have known when I held it up to me, it kind of looked like it would be short on him, but I still gave it a try. It was only a dollar. This dress is soft surroundings, which people seem to love this. This lady had ordered it actually. This is like, I bought this a couple months back, but I thought just thought I'll show y'all. I got the little shoulder peaks or whatever. This lady ordered it on from me on eBay, but she didn't, she said it was too big. So she returned it in great condition. So it's just a cute little comfy dress. What size is this? It's a medium, but it looks kind of big though. Nice and flowy maxi dress. Um, let me see. These are, and I apologize if I show too much of my business. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I 
I apologize if I showed some of this stuff before because I just was trying to gather things that I could think of that I had recently, you know, got from the thrift store. But it's I've been a thousand times and I have yet to do a video. So I apologize if some of you have seen this before. Here's some Lululemon men's shorts, which I should have been sold these. People offer me money, but I just be like, man, I want like $40 for them, <laughs> which I should probably just take anything because I literally paid like a dollar for these. this um let's see what's next oh here's some lulu pants for men khakis where's the lulu sign where is the lulu sign where is where is the lulu sign where is what is? oh there it is i can't even believe i found these and all them khakis it just so happened like this thing just stands out to me what is this a horseshoe it just stands out to me and I always can see it for some reason. These are Joseph Ribkoff pants, which I think they're silk. They may be 100% silk. No, they're 100% polyester, my bad. But they're like flowy wide leg pants. New with tags, guess how much this was? How much you think these pants was, original price? one hundred and six oh oh jesus i thought it split shoot let me put this tag back on 165 dollars for real for real why why and they marked them down to 82 and then 66 and worth it 113 but no no thank you but they're nice pants though uh, let's see here. Here's a joie, joie, joie top. I should actually wear this. It's nice and comfy. What is this? I don't know my materials, so let me not say silk again. Oh, it is silk. Maybe I should wear this. 100% silk. Maybe I should wear that. Hmm. I ain't never gonna buy no silk. Hmm. Silky, silky. Here's some lice pants, lease lice. I don't know. All I know is they sell fast sometimes. But they haven't sold yet. I think the bigger size. Oh, this is a small. But these are cute because they have the zipper on the back. So come on and work out in these pants, girl. Not me, but you. <laughs> now here's two dresses, new with tags. Actually, I need to try this on. Oh, it's extra large. I can't fit it. Lulu's, I think that's what it's called. I like this brand. I sold a dress like super fast when I put it up. And um, I'm gonna show you this other dress in a minute. It's beautiful. I'm keeping this other dress. I'm like, I'm not giving it up. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Come on, girl. Okay. So this is like a little black dress. This is cute. Little black dress, little, little black dress. That's cute. New with tag size, extra large. Now this dress, I pulled it out yesterday. I thought it was a sheet. This dress is so heavy. But look at this. It doesn't look like a sheet, like a bed sheet or something. But this is a maxi dress. And see these long, flowy things? Like you can wrap it a thousand different ways. Ouch. You can wrap it a thousand different ways. Like... I seen the pictures on the internet and there's so many different ways you could wear this dress. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And I had tried it on and ran in the bathroom, which they frowned upon that in the Goodwill. But I'm like, I shop in here enough. Okay, y'all better accept me going into this bathroom real quick <laughs> and seeing if this dress gonna fit me. Although even if I didn't um, keep it for myself, I was gonna sell it. But this is so beautiful. I need somewhere to wear this child, but it's 90 degrees outside and I think it's gonna be hot if I try to wear it anytime soon. I don't know where I could wear this cute little maxi to, but I'm gonna wear it. Too bad I ain't got no wedding to go to because that would be real cute to wear it to a wedding. All right, now on to a few different type of things. Oh, let me show you these skates I got from my son. Brand spanking new, y'all. Like, the wheels, they may look a little worn. Not worn, but messed up now. But they were crystal clear when I brought these home from my son yesterday. He, um, 
went outside with them. But look at these brand new skates, like brand new. They don't even smell like feet. They are like legit brand new. And I looked them up and these skates go for like $80 at Dick's Sporting Goods. Like for real, I could not leave these behind. My total yesterday was $50 and I was like, 50? Oh Lord, $50. So I had to put some stuff back, but I was like, I cannot put these back. He wears a six. Oh, look at, he got them dirty already. Kids. He wears a six, but he'll be in a seven in no time. Like he already got skates, but why would I not get these when they're 80 freaking dollars and I pay like minimal money for them? It just doesn't make sense. I got this bag. See, I've been just buying stuff that don't make sense. This is for my shoes. I'm going to throw my times in here at the end of the year. I always find, I mean, the end of the summer, I always find an excuse as to why I need to buy something. <laughs> it's really get out of control. Um, this belt, I'm going to wear this with my free, not free people, but my anthropology skirt, which I am absolutely in love with because it drags the floor. This is like beautiful. So I'm just going to wear it with a bodysuit and my super long skirt. These Lucky Brand sandals, I'm going to keep them. I need to sell them, I know. They're Lucky Brand. They were so fast. They're a size 11. But I need shoes too. <laughs> right? These are so cute. Oh my gosh. And I'm not really into heels right now. Because listen, I'm older now. I'm all about comfort. I am not about pain and trying to look cute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Although I will wear heels to church, but that's from my car to the seat, seat to the car. Like, I ain't doing nothing else. This is a Lily Pulitzer bag, which people left this. I don't know if somebody put it back or if somebody, that people just didn't know. Like, people know name brands like Coach and Michael Kors and they know stuff like that. But they don't really pay attention to stuff like this. But it is, it has a small little hole in it. You know, it's a, it's just slightly worn, you know, but all you got to do is let people know. And, you know, it's better than paying full price. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is a new brand to me, which I looked up, Matt and Nate. And this is not a leather purse. It's a polyester purse. And I think they're like environmental conscious or whatever. And so... When I looked this up, this was in the shoe bin, so I just grabbed this and I was like, hmm, let me see how well this will sell. So, it's like a crossbody. If I was in the purses, I probably would try to keep it, but I'm not. By the way, I'm gonna do a bag haul one day of all my bags because they just sit. I don't carry them. If I was a bag girl, then I would carry them, but I can't leave them at the thrift store, but I don't carry them, so they're just chilling all around, you know, when I need to get rid of them. So I'll have a sale on those coming up soon. Look at these though. Pink, um, <laughs> pink slippers. And they're so comfy. They're a size large, but I'm gonna sell them because I don't walk around the house in house shoes. So I might as well let them go. I'd rather wear, wear comfy socks than house shoes. Let's see. I found two purses, which I feel like people at the thrift store don't know about this brand either. This is um, Stella and Dot. This is a cute little clutch. It looks like the color's off a little bit, like the white needs to be like brightened up a little bit, but it doesn't look bad though. And actually if I carry purses, I will wear this. I will wear this. I would wear this, but I don't. So yeah, but it's really cute. Even the inside is cute. And then this, this is another cell and dot, which I'm going to try to clean this before I do anything with it. Same print as the other one. But this strap, it has a strap. You can wear this as a clutch as well. But it has a strap, but I don't know if it's missing something to keep it together or if I just don't know what I'm doing. So I'll just have to listen that and let people know because I'm, you know, I'm not that fashion girl. You know what I'm saying? Then I found these Cole Haan shoes yesterday, a little bit ballerinas ba ba ballerinas what size are these a size 8b these are cute right these are like perfect condition like nobody oh oh it's a little smudge on the gold but from if you're looking from up top can't nobody see that can you see it oh yeah you can see a little bit of smudge but it's still not bad though not bad at all 
Those are Cole Han. Let's see. Oh, then I found this yesterday. Mark Jacobs bag. Mark by Mark Jacobs, excuse me. Which I don't know. This is kind of cute. Her might have to carry this a few times. But as soon as I put this on Poshmark, it'll sell. Because I had a pink one just like this and it went super fast. And then, oh, here's a Kate Spade belt. I'm sure it went with an outfit, but it's a little worn, but for the most part, it's still good. Is this cowhide? This really looks like animal print. I don't know if that's fur or not. It looks a little, oh, it's genuine leather, so maybe it is a, a little bit of animal in there. <laughs> but it's cute though, right? Size small belt. And last but certainly not least, is a Vince Camuto bag. That's cute, right? It's just a little tote bag. So go pick up your groceries. It doesn't have the name on the outside or anything, but whatever. You gotta run your overnight bag for your man house, like whatever. <laughs> That's a cute little bag. But anyway, so if you're interested in anything, let me know. You can go to a shopaholics at a shopaholics treasure on IG. Hit me up in DM. Let me know. We can do um, PayPal. I'll send you an invoice and um, I'll tell you the price plus shipping. And um, I can get it straight to you whenever you want it. And uh, thanks for watching. Ashley, let me know if you want to see me thrift. Like, go to the thrift store with me. Because I'm down to do that. I don't care. They've been not saying nothing to me. So, if you're down with that, let me know as well down in the comments. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please have a beautiful and blessed day. Until next time, guys. Bye.